What's up? I have decided to reset my hair care regimen just totally and completely because um, I have been noticing some things taking place that I do not like. Um, I have some some breakage going on um, just recently, like maybe in the last month or so, like every time I handle my hair, like I'm like, hold on. This is, my hair is breaking. So, and I can't blame anybody but myself. It ain't my hair just deciding to break. I have not been caring for my hair like I usually do. Um, I probably haven't done, I have not done a hot oil treatment in probably two years. So, um, two things that are indicating to me, you know, other than the breakage that I need to take better care of my hair is, um, I have like some eczema flare-ups in my scalp or whatever. So if you can see like right here um, where the hair is thin in this area, I get like a little white patch here, white patch here, here, and here, and then right on the back of my ear and the middle of my head, okay? They get really itchy, really flaky, and it's kind of, it's really embarrassing. Like, don't let me be out in public and I start feeling the itch. I'm like, I already know the flakes are there and I can't touch it, but it itches so bad. But if I touch it, it's gonna be flakes. <laughs> real so over the last two or three days I was like you know what you got to get a handle on this because if you're trying to grow your hair out you're gonna have to get your scalp to optimal health so you know you won't have hair falling out or thinning from certain patches and you know just get your scalp under control so um, usually what helps me is coconut um, I'm gonna say virgin virgin coconut oil so I get this from vitamin shop so for the last two or three days I've been just I think two days um, I've been um, applying that and that's starting to help already like my scalp isn't itching it feels soothed um, it still does flake but it doesn't itch as much so that's how I know just being consistent eventually those little patches will be gone and then usually it usually flares up like when the seasons are changing from summer to fall and then once we get settled into winter, it'll kind of calm down. But it has been like this for the last year. And I just know it's because I've been neglecting my responsibilities. You know what I'm saying? And so um, I also noticed um, a couple months ago, um, I was having some issues with hair shedding. So I was like, damn, my period's acting up, my hair is shedding. There is something going on with my hormones. Something isn't right. I need to go to the doctor. So I went to the doctor and she was like, well, you know, this is, you you know, you might be okay, but let's just go ahead and do a test. Took some blood, got the results back. And she was like, well, she was like, this, she was like, your test came out normal, but this kind of confirmed what I was thinking, what I didn't want to say. Um, she was like, this is just that age. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> age where she said she's like I call it the pesky 36 because she said it will sneak up on you so bad she was like every woman that comes to me in that age range of 36 37 you know they're having the weird periods they're having the hair fall she said this is all normal she was like this is literally what happens your hormones kind of have to readjust you know you're getting older and I'm like damn but I'm, I thought this stuff happens when you're like 40 45 why is this happening now like I'm not even yo like I'm still you know I'm still dirty 30 you know what I'm saying but she was like this is just that age so that's just it it's normal so I started doing some research and reading up you know reading some journals and stuff like that science journals and stuff so there have been a few studies done on MSM and I didn't go you know do enough research to write a dissertation or anything but it tells your body to keep the hair follicle in hair growing phase that's why people see that rapid hair growth or continuous hair growth throughout a long period of time. So I started taking it in March, um, March 14th to be exact, I think. I'll put the dates and everything up. So I started taking it in March and I just wanted to see, like, let me see how long um, 
like what type of hair growth I'll see because my hair wasn't growing it was literally shedding like my hair was the same length for about six months until I started taking the MSM powder and so from um, March 14th to April 3rd I saw a significant jump in my hair growth so after that from April to now June um, I've been noticing some breakage and so I'm like well if you're trying to grow your hair out and taking the MSM powder you're defeating the purpose because you're not taking care of your hair like you should be and that's why you're seeing the breakage so we're gonna stop all that okay um, I'm gonna do right I'm gonna take care of my hair keep it properly moisturized and I'm gonna share that journey with you all and that's why I'm actually recording all this telling you guys all this because I want to, you know, I want you guys to be part of the process and see what's working for me. Um, I have also been considering going back to like an Ayurvedic um, hair care regimen, um, doing the bentonite clay, alum love powder, henna and stuff like that. But I don't think I'm going to be 100% Ayurvedic because there are some um, products that I still really like, which is the Coils by Nature Shea Aloe Leave-In and my Giovanni 50-50 Balance Shampoo. I absolutely will never stop using those products um, because they work really well with my hair. They don't make anything on my scalp flare up, so it will always be in my arsenal. So I do have a lot of products under my cabinet that I'll actually be doing a complete clean out. Like I'm at the point where I can't even donate these because they've been under there for so long. Um, they probably have fungi and bacteria growing. I, I mean, that's how long they've been under there. So everything needs to go in the trash. Um, and today what I'm going to do, just to kind of get my hair strengthened back up, I'm going to do a protein treatment. Um, so I think I might make that a separate video because I feel like this video has already been too long. So we're going to just call this the, un in the introduction to the hair care regimen, resetting everything. And then I'm also going to do a length check right now. And then I'll go ahead and um, record the protein treatment right after this one. All right, y'all, so as you can see, there's a significant difference between March and April, and then there's not as significant changes between April and June, and I think that's because that's when I started experiencing that breakage and not taking care of my hair or moisturizing it properly, so I wasn't able to retain as much length. But now that we're on the good foot, I'm gonna make sure that I document July and August and I'm gonna be checking in with this in September. I think quarterly check-ins for the growth would actually be more appropriate so I won't inundate you guys too much, but then I'll also be keeping you updated on what's taking place. I'll also talk more about the regimen that I'm formulating once I get all my materials and all my products together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.